And it's not just this corner. It's not just this intersection. It's not just, um, you know, in one centralized area. It is all over the neighborhood. He's talking about rain flooding the streets, an unwelcome sight after an already wet week. Good evening, I'm Jessica Coons. And I'm Jennifer Roscoe. Several towns in central Illinois experienced flooding during the weekend storms. Now, one neighborhood in Champaign is concerned for neighbors' safety. WCI3, Sarah Lehman is live in Garden Hills neighborhood. Sarah, so what are you seeing out there? Yeah, Jessica, Jennifer, seeing things like this isn't new for the Garden Hills neighborhood. This puddle here is actually pretty deep. It's actually, I'm going to measure it here for us. It's about two inches deep here at its deepest part on the road. And this is something that Garden Hills neighborhood sees every time it rains out here. Chad Smith is the neighborhood president. He says a lot of people in this neighborhood walk to work or walk to public transportation. And when the rainwater pools in spots on the road, they have to make a choice, either walk through the water in the muddy grass or down the middle of the road. Either way, he says it's dangerous. When you have people, and I just missed it, he walked in, but we had a, an old man that was walking down the street with a walker, avoiding the puddles. There's no sidewalks for it. Now, if he's wait, relying on tr public transportation and somebody doesn't see him as distracted, what's going to happen? Now, that's what Smith is hoping to avoid. He says part of the reason the water doesn't move is because there aren't enough drains, and the way the roads are shaped doesn't let the water run off toward the few drains that they have. Smith says not all of this water is just from today. Some of this is from the rains over the weekend and from earlier in the week that just hasn't gone away or hasn't receded. And I don't know if you guys can see this, but it is misting a little bit here, if you can see that in the camera. So it's going to continue and maybe just get a little bit worse during the week. Reporting live in Champaign, I'm Sarah Lehman, WCI3, your local news leader. Sarah, yeah, actually, we were noticing that, wondering what it was. All right, thank you so much. The city of Champaign is working to help fix some of the issues in Garden Hills, like adding more street lighting and fixing some of the drainage issues. Smith says he's appreciative of that, but believes more can be done to help than what is planned.